Welcome back. Welcome back. It is me, Britt Reacts. And today we're going to react to Randy Travis and Josh Turner singing Long Black Train. Let's see what they have to say. Watch out, brother, for that long black train. <laughs> okay. So many of you were like, you have to react to long black train. You have to react to long black train. Listen, I've said it previously in another Josh Turner reaction, but I reacted. It was, my introduction to Josh Turner was long black train over on Patreon, where I don't have to alter, filter, or edit the video screen shameless non-shameless plug anyway uh i <laughs> very shamefully i was so ashamed afterwards heard his voice his being josh's voice singing long black train i watched the video uh and i heard his voice and i think within 10 seconds i inducted him to the pdc i didn't even listen to what the song was about his voice sent me into shock my knees were weak and quivering and i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh pdc by the end of it it had dawned on me the lights came on at home that i had just inducted my first ever christian song <laughs> But you know what? I believe in a God that is uh, forgiving, understanding, humorous, and lighthearted. And I didn't feel guilty as the Christian that I am. I just felt stupid for not like actually listening to the song before I decided to induct someone into the panty dropping club for singing a song about Jesus. <laughs> anyway, I then saw that there's a duet between Randy and Josh. And obviously, without question, I'm reacting to it. Out brother for that long black train. You can oh. look to the heaven, you can look to the sky. Randy's voice is you so smooth. Redemption staring back into your eyes. There is protection and there's peace the same burning your ticket for that long black train cause there's victory in the Lord I serve victory in the Lord cling to the Father in His holy name don't go riding on that long it even took me a while to understand like the concept analogy metaphor of what the long black train was but I also you know I don't shy away from talking about my faith and my Christianity and my belief in God and and my relationship with God I'm way less religious and so much more about my relationship um, as a former like Bible thumping kid I was raised in the church I was in every ministry you could ever think about <laughs> uh, but I often speak about redemption and what it means to be redeemed and that at any moment after anything, you can be redeemed. Like you do not have to carry the weight of guilt, shame, hurt, anger, trauma. Like all of these things are cleansable, forgivable uh, if you believe. And that's up to you. I'm not here to push my agenda on anyone. I'm just telling you how I feel. And it took me a while when watching the videos. I think as I often am, I was distracted a little bit by the visual. But when I realized what the long black train symbolized and them saying like, you can burn that ticket, honey. There is redemption on the other side. It's like genuinely, I am a testimony. I am a witness. I am a believer of the fact that no matter what it is, who it is, how it is, when it was, 
redemption is available. And so this song is just so beautiful to me. It's such a beautiful song. And uh, Randy's voice, you know, Josh has that very deep cave, like deep down in a dark black cave voice. And then Randy comes in with this like smooth, cognac-y, uh, velvety voice. And the pairing, these two could sing any song together. And it's just perfect. Um, I am a longtime fan as far as this channel's li- lifespan is concerned. Randy fan. I am a new Josh Turner fan, but I jumped on that bandwagon very fast. Hello? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it? Oh, I love the way, I love the way, I'm okay. I love the way that Josh was still finishing his sentence and Randy came right underneath him and picked it up and they, there was a little overlap. I love the blue grassiness of this. It's just hold down, show down. The train is temptation. For those of you that were riding on a slow boat like me, it's temptation. It's sin. It's flesh. It's, it's, no. It's go the other way. It's not Thomas, okay? The little engine that could. It's the long black train. It's the spirit of lust. It's the spirit of addiction. It's the spirit of lying. It's the spirit of mm mm-mm. Get somebody else to do it. Okay? I just wanted to be clear because I, it took me four whole minutes. Okay? And I have no problem admitting that. (laughs) I was just so caught up in this man's, just the vocals. Okay? The vocals. They're blessed. They're highly favored. Can I get a That train is a making everybody Everybody. But it's only Temptation. It makes everybody stare, but its only destination is hell. <laughs> Lord, I say, in the Lord. Watch out, Randy. That devil's driving that long black. Oh, the tambourine. Y'all know I love a tambourine. Train. <laughs> I love this song. I love both of these men. I am just smitten as a kitten in Jesus' name, okay? It's wholesome. Uh, yeah, you know, I've also mentioned this, that I once received a pretty long and nasty email about how dare I be a Christian and I am promoting 
something like the PDC. <laughs> um, and it was a really ugly email, you guys. Like I, but I was so, um, I'm not gonna say triggered because it didn't bother me, but I'm, I grew up in that type of Christianity that's judgmental and shame throwing and unforgiving and relentless. And I also talked about this at the Beyonce concert, like how there were people picketing outside, telling everyone at the Beyonce concert that they were going to hell and no one's life was changed. No one's life was bought to Christ. There was no good that came from it other than people laughing at them and turning people more away from the goodness of God because they were being ugly. And I just do not subscribe to the fact that God is this big judgmental God in the sky who is vengeful and waiting for me to mess up so I can be condemned. I think, you know, it's quite the opposite. <laughs> uh, and so I don't know. I just think it's funny. I, I also like to go on the record and say I'm a married woman. Therefore, I'm allowed to be having sex and talking about it. Uh, and I'm not out here telling anybody to be promiscuous or, uh, you know, having relations in, in any way. I <laughs> am just saying that someone and their song and their, you know, all the things might get something percolating. What is wrong with that? Do you see what I'm saying? Listen, guys, it's all in fun. Music is an incredible vessel. It brings people together. It brought us together here. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you love the lightheartedness that is in this, this channel. And uh, I hope you don't ever feel judged and that this is a safe space here, okay? I love you guys. I mean it. And I hope you have the day you deserve. Bye.